Hey everyone, I'm Babu Khandalwal and I welcome you all to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will discuss the counting sort algorithm. We shall begin our session by introducing counting sort. Then we will discuss counting sort algorithm. After that, we will implement the counting sort algorithm in the code editor. Finally, we will sum up what we have learned from this session. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon below so you never miss an update from Simply Learn's YouTube channel. So without any further ado, let's get started with an introduction to counting sort. A counting sort is a sorting algorithm that sorts the elements of an array by counting the number of occurrence of each unique element in the array. The count is stored in an auxiliary array and the sorting is done by mapping the count as an index of that auxiliary array. Now let's discuss the counting sort algorithm. Let's say we have an array. First, we will find the largest element in this array to evaluate the range of the elements. Then we will create a count array to store the count of element from the array. Then we will update the count array's element with a cumulative count. At last, we will output each element from the array followed by decreasing its count by 1. We have now introduced the counting sort and its algorithm. Now let's try to implement this algorithm in the code editor. Let's start by creating a count sort function. Void count sort its argument as int arr, comma int n. We will declare an array output. It's size 10 and an array count again with the size 10 and an integer variable max is equals to arr at 0. Now we will write a for loop to find the largest element of this array. So for int i is equals to 1 i less than n i plus plus if arr at i is greater than max then max will be equals to arr at i. Now we will initialize the count array with all zeros. So for int i is equals to 0 to i less than equals to max plus plus i count at i is equals to 0. Now we will store the count of each element in this array. So for loop int i is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus count at arr bracket i is plus plus. Now we will write a for loop to store the cumulative count of each array. So for int i is equals to 1 where i is less than equals to max at i plus plus count at i is equals to plus equals to count at i minus 1. Now we will find the index of each element of the original array in count array and place the elements in the output array. So for int i is equals to n 
minus 1 i greater than equals to 0 i minus minus so output account at arr i minus 1 is equals to arr at i and then we will decrease count arr i by 1 now let's write a function to print this array so void print array so int arr bracket comma int n so for loop int i is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus c out arr at i c out and uh, now let's write the main block int arr is equals to we will write the element now let's find out the size of this array so int n is equals to size of array divided by size of array's first element now we will call the count sort function arr comma n now we will print this array so print array arr comma n Now let's try and execute this. As you can see, we have successfully sorted this array using counting sort. Let's get back to our slides. At last, let's sum up what we have learned from this session. First up, counting sort is not an comparison based sorting algorithm. Next up, it is frequently used as subroutine in other sorting algorithms such as radix sort. Next up, counting sort can be performed only on positive integers. Finally, counting sort utilizes a partial hashing to calculate the data item occurrence in big O of 1. And this was all for today's session. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any question, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.